Carmen Classics, Carmen Connection car show today, Porsche show today at Bradwell on Sea in Essex. Uh, I was up early this morning answering all your comments and suggestions on the last video I did and I suddenly thought to myself, holy cleaning products Batman, we didn't get the car cleaned yesterday. Well to be perfectly honest, I didn't have the time to get the car cleaned yesterday. So it's now half past eight on a Sunday morning and we're down the car wash getting the car cleaned so it looks good when we get to the show. Right, we're on our way. Right on Stock Road. Sir, that sat nav always interrupts me. Reminds me of being married. I now know why. They give sat navs female voices. Right, we're on our way. Continue 0.5 miles, <laughs> then enter roundabout and take first exit. Mm, the car's clean, the sun is up, the roof is down, the car is running like a dream, and the world is as it should be. This is what owning a Porsche should be about. Okay, right, thank you for all the great comments, ideas and suggestions on the interior. I'll just cover that while we're on the way to the show. Uh, some brilliant ideas there. Um, especially thank you for the repair kit for the centre console armrest. Um, I searched that out today so I could get that sorted. That's a step forwards. Um, the roundabout, take first exit to Leyton Road. The dash, big issue with that. I would really, really, because now I'm getting the leather seats and obviously getting the leather door panels. Take first exit to Leyton Road. Reasonably straight forwards. I would love to have the dash trimmed in leather with some nice French stitching. But the prices have been coming back at like a thousand pounds, and that's a hell of a lot of money just to sort the dashboard out. Continue 0.6 so, miles, then enter roundabout and take third exit. Anyone knows anybody that could do the job at a more reasonable price, or is any good at that sort of thing, please let me know. I'd love to hear from them. So, Roundabout, take third exit to Hill Road. So, yeah, a few tips on watching the, the seats can set the um, airbag warning light off. I'm not so sure with this particular, because it's an early car, I've only got the airbag in the steering wheel and the dash. It hasn't got the door airbags or any of that in it. So, hopefully that shouldn't be a problem, but we will see as things go take on. Take third exit to Hill uh, Road. Mike, I've, I've got to have my carbon fibre finish on the centre console. I've wanted that I've, ever since I got the car. The first day I got the car, I've wanted that. So I've got, to, I've got to have that. That's been one of my dreams on that. But yeah, thank you all for all the feedback, all the great feedback. And obviously, as we do each part of it, I will do a video for you to show how it goes, what it looks like. Um, we haven't got Malcolm with us today. He drive 2.2 miles and then to roundabout and take first so, exit. I'm all on my own. Look, his seat is empty. Nothing. My little sidekick gone, deserted me. I will get my own back on him for this, trust me. Right, okay, I'm going to enjoy the drive, enjoy the car, enjoy the weather, because I can't have the music on why I'm doing the videos, because YouTube whinge and whine about copyright and copy infringements and all of that. And what I really need now to finish this beautiful day off is some music <laughs> and of course the one track that comes to mind and I so wish I could play it now 
without YouTube winging is Matt Munro on days like these. That would just set it off perfectly. Okay, I'll catch up with you again in a little while when we get to the show. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a convoy going. The classic Porsche and a Volkswagen Microbus. Minibus in this country. Malcolm will like him. He'll be happy. He'll be, glad. He'll be sad he's not here now. Ha! See? turn as we missed last year, Malcolm. Turn left on Morden Road. Drive point and seven miles, CMO, seven QL, on left. God, looks like I'm the first one here. That's embarrassing. Where do they put these? Anyone tell us where to park? and it looks like I'm one of the first ones here. I thought there'd be loads more here by now. Oh well. Oh, well, there's plenty of time and the weather's brilliant. So let's go and have a look around. I'll catch up with you in a minute when I'm out of the car. Hey, hi, we're at the uh, Carmen Classics car show. I hate filming car shows. I don't really know the best format to use with them. It just doesn't really seem to work for me. But... Unfortunately, as you can see, if you just sort of pan around and look behind me, it's, um, I'll just do a, a pan there. It's been a bit of a poor turnout this year. Only about 20, maybe 30 odd cars, which is really disappointing because it could be a nice show. It was a nice show last year. Um, so, great shame there, but there you go. I've tried to get a few shots which I'll put in for you. Um, not a lot to really be filmed, to be perfectly honest. Uh, shame, the weather's been lovely. I had a chat with a couple of guys. Had a couple of looks inside some 911s, uh, the sort of same and slightly later models of mine, for some ideas 
for my interior so that was quite handy definitely like the look of the later door panels so need to find out if the later door panels will fit in my car like the 2001 onwards don't see why they shouldn't um, also it'll give me a speaker grill so I can put speakers behind the grills and the doors so that would be quite interesting quick plug for Carmen Connections though they're going to start doing a monthly cars and coffee here so I'll put the details for that on if anyone wants to come along to that so um, I'm going to head home now so I hope you've enjoyed the video I know it's not really been a lot in the way of the car show but there you go this happens um, maybe I'll get more support next year okay as always thanks for watching please like please subscribe and please share and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.